Hi, welcome to the show, folks. How's everybody doing today? I hope you're doing good. Um, yeah. Bet you didn't think you'd be seeing back in this rig. Huh. Well, actually, anybody that's been paying attention does know that I was, uh, that I've been planning to be back in the bus. And, um, yeah, so it's, it's not a surprise to you who have been keeping, uh, keeping track of what's going on. So, yeah, I'm back in the tank, my schoolie. I did get it, uh, running again, but I'm having a bit of a battery problem. So I'm working on solving that, um, in getting it going, there have been a few things that, uh, that needed to be done. So it's been sitting for a couple of years now. So of course, when that happens, fluids settle and stuff. And I discovered that the radiator cap was gone and my radiator fluid, my coolant had all evaporated and the reservoir was full of sand. So before I could fire up the bus, I had to, I took off the tank and my buddy cleaned it out for me while I was doing other stuff and working on the bus and, um, got it all figured out. <laughs> it's fine. It's back in the bus. Um, but I do need to get more coolant because when I turned on the heater to run it through, all of the coolant went into the heater in the back. And, uh, yeah, so that's, that's one thing that I need to get. Actually, I should probably turn this off. I I didn't even think about it. I was like, okay, the bus is running. I'm going to let it run, and I'm going to turn on, you know, uh, I'm going to turn on the heat and just, like, let, uh, let the vents kind of dust themselves and whatnot. And, yeah, my the rear, rear heater drank up all my coolant. Um, and then, also, my battery was fucking just flat dead. When, when I tried to fire it up, it took like two days of trickle charging it because it wasn't really like connected correctly for the first day. And then, um, the, the bus got jumped. That took a good while, but finally, and yeah, it was a thing. So getting it like getting it running and getting that old diesel kind of moving and all that, that's. That was a thing, that was a chore, and, um, putting everything in place where it's not gonna fall over or whatever while I was driving down the road. Then I did some scouting of nearby BLM land and decided to park here. Um, I'm, I'm in the front seat of my bus because my tripod is busted and this is just, like, the best place for it to be right now, so I'm just gonna leave it there. Uh, usually during my streams I move around and show you stuff. But that's not going to happen here because my, my tripod is just balancing precariously. And I'm, I'm going to just turn around the camera so you can see where I'm at here. This is where, this is what I'm looking at. So it's like, uh, yeah, it's nice. It's beautiful. And if, if y'all know that, uh, BLM land is public land that anybody can go to and use. It's, pub it's public land. It's for us. It's American land for Americans. You know, it's out there for us to utilize it. There are maps available online where you can look up where, where there is BLM land near, nearest to you that you can go to, and you're allowed to stay on the land for up to two weeks or 15 days. So I'm going to use my 15 days. I'm on day two. I'm going to use my 15 days to work on my rig and I'm going to be selling everything. Everything in this bus needs to go except for the stuff that I use every day that goes in my Subaru. So like my guitar obviously is not, this guitar is not for sale, but there's other instruments that I am selling. Even this fucking iconic jacket I, I may be selling. I have to I have to oil it up with some mink oil. I guess for the right price. Um and I've got oh my goodness even just like next to me in this 
like in arm's reach i've got all sorts of weird shit like this cool little i don't know knickknacks and shit so if you're interested in um i i do want to send some gifts to my long-term supporters and i will be um sending you some cool stuff here's a rabbit's foot handmade it's good stuff um just yeah silly uh not silly like tchotchkes curios um artifacts and then of course very practical tools that i'm also getting rid of um there will be more details but if you're super duper interested in just like some assorted treasure from my bus um hit me up and uh or or send something to my paypal like you know, five bucks, ten bucks, whatever, and I'll pick something for you. And make sure, if you do that, send money to PayPal with your name and mailing address in it and whatever details, um, and then we'll figure it out from there. Otherwise, if you want to help me with this project, I literally have $40 in my back pocket, $40, $41. And I've got um, probably like not much more than that in my bank account right now. So until I move some of this stuff out, I'm flat broke. I, it took me everything to get here with all my stuff. Uh, so there's links in the description for my PayPal and my Venmo. Um, I could really, really use it for fixing this shit up. Uh, I can't even afford, well, now with the cash in my pocket, I can afford, um, some coolant, but like stuff like that. Uh, and yeah, of course, thanks, Tira Weidman. I appreciate you. You can donate through Super Chat too, it, but it doesn't get to me until the end of the month. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> it is what it is. Candy Puff says you have $11 more than me, homie. Well, okay. Do you have regular income? I'm sure you do, so then you just wait for your next paycheck. And if not, then, uh, you should probably start a YouTube channel or, uh, put out some content that people can support you for. I also have a Patreon link in the description, too. And, um, yeah, I, <laughs> I do have my computer here now, and I just got, I, oh, that's the other thing. So after I got my bus fired up, I brought it out here to the BLM land. And then today, what I've been working on mostly is more cleaning up, just getting the, the layer of dust off of everything and uh going through some of my stuff here and then uh doing some maintenance on my power system in the bus here which is solar power i've got um just a 100 watt panel on the roof of the bus and a pretty modest system the deep cycle battery that it's running off of is pretty old i don't have enough uh data yet to know if that needs to be replaced too or, or anything like that. But I do have power right now. I have been able to charge my battery bank and my smaller battery bank. And, um, yeah, so, so I have power now. I don't have to run my Subaru and use very expensive <laughs> Californian gas to charge my stuff. Candy says... Yeah, I'm trying. Yeah, it's fine, man. <laughs> it's, uh, being broke ain't a competition, you know? <laughs> um, but, uh, on the real, I am, through all of this, uh, getting rid of my boss and all my stuff, I am trying to come up on, you know, uh, a chunk of money so that I can go on more adventures, bigger adventures, like, there was a point where I was considering fixing up the bus and taking it somewhere this spring, like myself, getting everything all squared away. Um, but then I kind of realized that uh, it's, it's more than what I need. I've been really liking being more minimal at this point, and, you know, things come and go. I have a lot of cool-ass treasures in here. And, like, really fond memories, and, you know, etc. And good stories, 
it, it's had a lot of miles. It's got 202,000 miles on it. When I bought it, it had 74,000 miles on it. So I put a lot, you know, I've had a, I took it to Alaska and back. Um, it, I've, I've taken it to Minnesota a few times to visit family. And, um, you know, I've done a lot of camping out of it. And it was my bedroom and main, uh, main form of transportation for many, many years. Um, so, you know, it is bittersweet, but that's the thing you can't, you can't let your things own you, right? So, um, if anybody's interested in a, a school bus that still runs fine, it runs great, actually. The engine sounds good. It's just I'm tackling this battery problem. There's a nice bed frame in the back that's super cozy and, um, you know, a power system and storage and a wood-burning stove in here. But, uh, yeah. It'll be good. It'll be fine. I'm just, like... I'm still, oh, I should take some of this energy drink. I'm like kind of uh, like high strung right now because it's been a few days of just like trying to get this damn thing started and finally it started and finally I got to this spot yesterday and today I've, I wanted to, uh, I wanted to just sit around and bask in just being here on this beautiful land, this, this gorgeous, um, you know, open, <laughs> open land, but of course I got all, all, um, riled up and doing a bunch of different chores in the bus. I am, I'm very glad that I took the time to get the power system going again. It didn't take a ton uh, of work, but it did take some work, so that's, uh, that's good. All right, we got 133 people in chat. If you wouldn't mind taking a moment and putting your, uh, putting your finger on the thumbs up button here underneath the picture, the video of me, that would be fucking excellent. I want to see those thumbs go up. And, um, hey, wow, look at that. Y'all are doing great. Good job, everybody. Fucking awesome. Yes. Good job. I'll take a dab to that. We're going to do a dab. I got me some lemon cream. So it's not sauce. Lemon cream something or other. Yum. For those of you that don't know what this is, it's crack. Just kidding. It's not crack. That's not what crack looks like. <laughs> this is, um, this is dabs. You buy it in a in a store, and it gets you high. This is what all the Californians are into right now. Yep, freebasing THC. <laughs> yeah, so I got into a bunch more stuff, like, and, and also I did a short supply run that depleted a lot of my fucking funds as well. It kind of sucks and is overwhelming to be totally broke again, but, uh, that's a thing. Oh, hey, let's see. Damn, thanks, Noah. Noah kicked down and says beer and buds. <laughs> you know what, Noah? I really do appreciate that. That's super sweet. Um, but I don't drink anymore. Actually, oh, and another person kicked down. It was Styles. Thanks, Styles. You're so fucking on it, man. Always a fucking, always there. Fucking getting down with the kickdown. That's cool, Tira. Take a shot for me. I, uh,. I, yeah, I don't, I don't drink. This is my three-week anniversary today, actually. It's been 21 days. Can you believe it? Used to have whiskey for breakfast. <laughs> now, now I have dabs for breakfast. Just kidding, it's like four. What did I have for breakfast? Um... <laughs> Oof. I think I'm running out of fucking butane. This is not getting hot enough. <coughs> oh. Yes. Noah. Okay, I was just double checking. Make sure Noah didn't want any treasures for my bus. I'm serious. If you fucking send me money to my PayPal 
and leave a note telling me like something that you would like or if you want you know if you want a random little satchel of shinies and treasures from my boss here uh yeah i'm like go to my paypal donate what you can and then leave a note with your mailing address and then like you know whatever and i i will send you stuff it's uh i'm gonna be sending out other stuff too like there's so much so many things that i need to get get out of here because i'm not i'm not trying to carry stuff around anymore Timothy says, congratulations, keep up the good work. Thank you. I appreciate that. Oh, fuck yeah. Thanks, Christopher Hawk. You're, you're fucking great. I don't see a note. I'm serious. I'll send you treasure. <laughs> um, it, it, yeah. Do you have any hat pins? Oh, yeah, I got pins galore. I can send you a couple pins if you want to. Yeah. I've also got a fuck ton of knives. Like, cool knives and, um, like, jewelry items and shinies and whatnot. I'll probably... Okay, so here's the plan. Um, while I'm here working on my bus for the next, um, I guess 14 days now. This is the first one. I'm going to do 14 one-hour episodes. I'm going to do one every day, unless some fucked up shit happens, and then... You know, I'll I'll notify in the Discord. If you're not in the Discord and you're a super fan, you should join the Discord because then you'll know what the fuck is going on. Um, you should do an auction. Yeah, I'm definitely thinking about it. I I want to put maybe list a bunch of items on eBay or something and have a link that I can send to y'all. I've got like I have a welder, a flux welder that I love dearly, but it's like you know I have a five string Schecter. Diamond Series bass guitar, that's incredible, and it, it breaks my heart to even think about selling it to somebody, but I, I'm, I'm at a point here, I'm at a point, I'm, I'm broke, I'm sick of being broke, and I'm, I want to just, like, get rid of everything, <laughs> I want to get rid of everything, there was even a moment where I was considering selling my Subaru and everything in that, too, and just, like, getting what I can and going on some crazy world travels and j just like fucking going, going crazy and getting out there. But, um, I want to kind of bide my time a little bit because I can be very, um, I get, I guess I can get really fired up about big things and I don't want to just like pre-plan what's going to happen before it even happens. So I'm just going to take it one step at a time. So the phase I'm in right now is getting the bus um, empty and fixed up. So yeah, Handy Helper says hit a local swap swap meet. Yeah, that's the plan. Um, but it's Monday. The swap meets are Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So I have a few days before then. Um. Captain Grimm. I have a lot of friends that are traveling all over right now, and yeah, but I mean, like, I'm I'm always looking at other people's um, other people's pictures and videos of their their travels. There's like it's it's Mardi Gras season right now, or it's about to be, and all of the fucking crust punks are in NOLA, so I'm like, yo. <laughs> I wish that I was there. Like there, there was a moment as well when I was planning on taking a train trip from the Southwest back to New Orleans and then back again. But I'm like thinking, you know, if I did that, then pretty much the whole winter would be gone by the time I'm like back and ready to work on shit. And like, yeah, I think that the biggest part of it is the fact that I do have all of this stuff keeping me here and these responsibilities that I need to take care of now that I'm back in the Southwest where my address is, um, in Slab City, of course, which is like two and a half hours South of where I am now. And, um, so I got to do, I got to do medical stuff down there. I got to do, I got to straighten out the bus situation here. 
Like, if there was a magical situation where I could move my bus to somewhere else for a little while, I might consider it. But at this point, I'm I'm not looking to settle in anywhere. That would be like I and I always had the idea that I'm either going to sell the bus or I'm going to come back to it and be like, okay, it's time to go out and take my bus on another adventure. But that's not the cycle that I'm on right now. The cycle that I'm on right now is I want to get rid of everything <laughs> and come up with a savings somehow. So, uh, yeah, so that's that's what I'm at. What are you trying to get out of your bus? Well, that's a good question, Godseeker. I, uh, Handy Helper says $50 goodie box. Let's see. Yeah, I'd, I'd send you a $50 goodie box. I'm sorry, I'm getting the comments out of order here. Yes, if you, like I said, if you send money to my PayPal with your mailing address and you want a cool selection of bus treasures, just, yeah, then then I'll send it to you when I go into town next. Um, and I've got a bunch of stuff. Just describe the kind of things you like and you'll get some of those things. I've got, yeah, think, think, uh, highway pirate, like wasteland traveler treasures. I have a lot of weapons and a lot of shinies and, you know, it's, it's, uh, yeah, this, this is fucking up for, up for trade for sure. I've got, it's, it's amazing. There's so many things. Um, what are you trying to get out of your bus? God seeker asked. So I've been advised to ask more than 10 K but I just don't know, considering the shape of the bus right now. There's some, uh, the door is damaged and the stairway, but the engine is great. And I've been told that the engine itself is worth around 10 K itself. So, I mean, if you, if you were like, yo, I want your bus Cornelius right the fuck now and you drop 10 K, then it's yours. Um, other than that, I really haven't done the research yet, so I don't know for sure how much it's worth. Maybe it's worth more. Maybe it's not. Um, but it like with the market the way it is right now, that's the ballpark at least of what it would be worth. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I was going to try and get rid of some of my other equipment first before uh, I look into that, but I guess we'll see. If, if somebody dropped the money now to buy the bus, then I would be able to put all the rest of my shit into, like, a storage facility nearby and, uh, while I'm selling it as well. But, yeah. Captain says, 10K is on target for the tank. I think so, yeah. I think that's... I think that's about, about fair. If not, even, like, a little low. <clears throat> I have no idea. I guess we'll see. It's a, yeah, it's a 2001 <clears throat> Bluebird school bus with a Caterpillar 3126 engine in it. Allison transmission. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's got the things and the brakes are good. Obviously, there's a battery issue, which I'm working on, and, um, the tires are still okay. They'll, you know, they're, like, the bus is good to go. Like, if you came here to pick it up, you could drive it away. Um, we'd have to jump, <laughs> we'd have to juice up the battery first, but, yeah. Cam says, I'd jump on if I weren't broke as fuck. Yeah, dude, it's fine, I get it. Maybe someday you'll get a sweet deal. Why are you liquidating? Nine Toten, um, why do we do anything? I just got done explaining all this. I wanna, wanna get rid of my stuff. <laughs> one, as one does, so that I can travel more and more easily. If you're, if, if you folks are so married to the idea of me being in my school bus, 
then you don't know me very well, for one, or at all. Um, and two, you have no idea what my life is like. And three, you're turning me into a caricature in your brain that's just like a cartoon character that doesn't really exist and that live in a bus and wear the same outfit every day. That's not me. Um, I have a life and aspirations and cycles of my life. And, um, you know, things change and... I haven't lived in Slab City for more than a month at a time in, like, two years. Or, uh, I haven't, I haven't been in my bus for more than a day or two in a year. So, I don't know, I don't know what you want from me. <laughs> Dave says, I personally can't wait to see what your next adventures are going to be. Thanks, yeah, it's, a. Uh, Sometimes you got to move old things out of the way, even though you really, really like them, to make room for new things to come into your life. So that's where we are. Katie says, if I bought some bus treasures, would be you be able to send them to the UK? Thanks. I don't know. Um, anybody in chat ever sent packages overseas? Anybody? Anybody got tips? Am I am I able to do that? Or like it probably probably costs a fuck ton of money. Tira says, Corin, thank you. You've encouraged me to say forget things and go travel myself. Well, you know what? Like, yeah, you own things, but don't let things own you. If your stuff is getting in the way of you doing the things that you want to do, then get rid of your stuff. It, you know, it or if you're getting all, like, upset about your things or taking taking stuff too seriously, like, you know, it's, it's stuff. It's just stuff. Things come and go. What good is a thing if you can't enjoy it? And if you're not enjoying it anymore and if it's just, like, holding you back or pissing you off, then fucking get rid of it. <laughs> You don't even, like, oh, it's it's an inanimate object. You don't even owe it the, the thing to make sure it goes to a good home. Like, it is nice to know that your beloved treasured stuff is going to a home that uh, you, you know it's going to be appreciated in. But, like, I don't know. I've had so much stuff taken from me and just had to dump stuff and, like, or, like, some of my most precious possessions had to take it to a donation center and watch them just, like, throw it callously away, like, or be like, oh, yeah, you know, that's that's trash, or that's worth two cents, that's worth five cents, that sort of thing. It's, yeah, it, when, when you're broke and going through hard times, there's never going to be a time where you realize more how little other people regard your things and how out of your control it is <laughs> when you have to, you know, when, especially when you become homeless, which I have been many, many times and just like some of my most favorite things people have just thrown in the trash. So it's like, yeah, you know, uh, things are just stuff. Stuff is just things. Dave says sending packages is not a problem. It's about $45 for priority. That's the only way I would ship overseas, and you got to fill out customs forms. Okay, well, if I was going to send a treasure package to the UK, then it would have to be um, a pretty, pretty generous donation. Sorry. <laughs> but I will, you know, if it's, if it's, something that, uh, you know, that you want to do. Timothy says, looking forward to your next adventure. If you're ever back in Minnesota area, look me up. Hell yeah, man. Thanks. All right. We got Ryan Ruff. Whoops. Damn it. No, 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 no. Oh shit. Did I lose everybody? We still here? <laughs> 